think that's going to continue? I see no end in sight. I think agencies are, uh, um, and, and this is amazing because when I first started out in this profession, I thought you had to have a job as a reporter to get into PR. So, in the first several jobs I had in corporate America, I would have um, my HR people screen resumes and I'd be looking for media experience. And uh, it, it, even, it even started, and it probably went the first year or two at Sears, and then all of a sudden, you know, the lights went off, and I'm like, you know, these agency people, I think, have some good ideas. <laughs> and, and now I go the opposite. You know, what agency did you work for? You know, if you're going to come work for an agency, it really helps to have some agency experience. And it, it, uh, uh, I, I only see continued upside on, on that. And I actually see some corporations, especially smaller ones, just totally outsourcing that function, you know, that they're, they're going to say, okay, this person might be responsible for communications, but the kind of stuff that we need is, is, uh, uh, is broad enough in scope that we can't build up all of these uh, disciplines in communications, but an agency can just kind of do it as a turnkey for us. Mm -hmm. So now that you're in that environment, what qualities and characteristics are you looking for when you're going to hire someone yeah. into an agency? Uh, first thing I'm looking for is somebody who really is interested in doing the work. We get some resumes of people who really look good on paper. They've taken all the right classes, gone to all the right schools and everything else. One of our most recent hires uh, is from Northern Ohio University. Uh, probably wouldn't have been on any, anyone's radar, but uh, because this young person was able to come in and, and through his total passion for this profession and through his incredible research coming in. Uh, that's the other thing, you know, we used to have to go read an old issue of Fortune magazine when we were going to about the company we were going to talk to. Today, they're able to research so much better and have, you know, uh, prepare themselves far more effectively than we were able to. So I think asking the right questions, coming into uh, a situation, uh, not, not reciting that I know everything about your company or your agency when you come in for the interview, but just knowing about it, knowing what their, uh, their specialty is. Uh, we, we had people when I was at Sara Lee Corporation that would come in and talk about how they just love you know, the cheesecakes. And that's fine. Uh, but then now are you aware of the other products that we have? And then they, they weren't aware at that point that we had Hanes and Legs and, and Playtex and all these other consumer products because, you know, they grew up, you know, eating Sara Lee cheesecake, so they thought they were coming to a cheesecake factory. And that wasn't the case. Uh, today, you know, they'll come in with the ROI of the various products and, you know, they're able to have a conversation, a business-oriented conversation with you about it. So I, I think you know passion and understanding of the business, uh, and and wanting to do that rather than you know, I, I, it's either between PR or advertising. No, it's not between PR and advertising. You know, you're going to come in and you're going to know what you want to do, and uh, you, you're you're going to have to put a put a um, case together why you're going to be the best person for this PR opportunity, and uh, and ask good questions.